Well, I grew up in an unbelieving home. Um, I was an introspective child. I'm still, you know, our, our basic natures tend to be introvert, extrovert, this, that, the other thing. We've got all these different dimensions. And uh, I, I tended to be uh, very melancholic. Uh, that's part of my nature. Um, it's kind of a, a thing that uh, artists and musicians and um, writers often have and other kinds of people as well. Where uh, even as a kid, I, I didn't, I'd never heard about God. I'd never heard the good news. I'd never heard the gospel. And I, I was sad a lot. When I was by myself, I would listen to music, music of the 60s. I would listen to the Beatles. I'd listen to others. And I, I, I remember one time listening to the Beatles singing, help, I really need somebody, help, not just anybody. And I, I'm, I'm just crying out, but I don't know who I'm crying out to. I don't know there's God at all, but I do need help. I, I just need help, and I would look through my telescope and look out at the wonders of the universe and uh, looking at the great Andromeda galaxy, 2.5 million light years away, a trillion stars one night, and weeping because the universe was so great, but I didn't understand. I didn't know. It was like I was on the outside, and there's, I want to be on the inside, but I had no clue how. And uh, I was discouraged, and then uh, I heard the gospel when I was 15 you even years said old. So discouraged that you actually put that telescope I away. Did. Yeah, I got. I mean, I just put it in the basement. Didn't take it out until a couple of years later, after I came to faith in Christ. And by the way, when I took it out again after having come to know the Lord, I wept again as I looked at the great galaxy of Andromeda because I remembered. My prior tears, which were disconnect, and, and now were, wow. yeah, now were connection wow. and hope and trust in this Lord that I came to on my knees, reading through uh, the Gospels. I'd gone to uh, a wonderful youth group at Powell Valley Covenant Church, and some of you many years ago were part of Powell Valley, and I loved that church, and I love still love that church, and I loved the. That the, the gospel that I had heard, and I knew that Jesus was real. God just testified to, to my spirit. And I was immediately, upon being forgiven, infused with a profound happiness, a deep-seated happiness I had never known. And I would say that everybody who knew me as a high school student, Sam Barlow High School, when I came to the Lord, uh, it was the first four years that uh, Barlow existed that I was there freshman through senior year, and I came to the Lord my sophomore year in 1969. Uh, my friends would have said, how is Randy different? Maybe they would have said something about, I don't do some of the things that I used to do. But I think mainly they would have said, wow, he seems really happy now. Never mm -hmm. saw that before. 